Today, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Erewa, clocks 62. Over the years, she has been described by many as a sterling Nigerian Amazon for her brilliance in the discharge of her duties and her compassion for the less privileged. Today, Clairview News Desk beams the spotlight on the journey so far of this quintessential woman, now nicknamed Lady Diaspora, and her contributions to national development. Dabiri Erewa attended Maryland Private School Maryland Ikeja for her primary school education and St. Theresa's College Ibadan for her secondary education. She obtained her first degree in English language from the prestigious University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife. She obtained a postgraduate diploma in mass communication and also a master's degree in mass communication from the University of Lagos, Akoka. She also studied in the United States at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Dabiri Erewa worked for the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, for 15 years, anchoring the weekly NTA Newsline program and taking a particular interest in poverty and social justice issues. She retired from her position at Nigerian Television Authority to stand for election in the House of Representatives, winning with a substantial majority. She was the chairperson person House Committee on Media in the Federal House of Representatives from 2003 to 2007, representing Ikorodu constituency in Lagos State. She was also the former chairperson of the House Committee on Diaspora Affairs and was elected for the first time in 2003 and re-elected in 2007 and 2011. Dabiri Erewa championed and sponsored a number of significant bills that were passed by Parliament, including the Freedom of Information Bill and the Violence Against Persons Bill, which have both been signed into law in Nigeria. The Nigerian Infant Welfare Scheme Bill, Nigerians with Disabilities Bill, a bill to amend the Railway Act to allow private sector and state participation, Nigerian Diaspora Commission Bill, and a bill to promote the advancement of Nigerian women and girls among others. In 2015, she was appointed as the Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammadu Buhari on Foreign Affairs and Diaspora. In November 2018, Dabiri Erewa was given a new role of Chairman CEO of Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM. Since her assumption of office, Honorable Abike has been instrumental in rescuing Nigerians in various dilemmas in different countries like Malaysia, the United Arab Emirates, China, Brazil, Morocco, India, Lebanon, Qatar, Benin Republic, United Kingdom, and many other countries. Worthy of note is her contributions to the evacuation of Nigerians from South Africa due to xenophobic attacks and her intervention to the wrong imprisonment of one Zainab Habibu Aliu, a 22-year-old victim of a drug cartel who was imprisoned in Saudi Arabia for an offense she didn't commit, among many other cases. I just want to say that I want to encourage all Nigerians in the diaspora, do what all these groups are doing. Abroad, they get people together to see what they can do. Nigerians in the UK alone are worth, they have an economic worth of about 70 million pounds. It's documented. There's no debate about it. So what we're doing is encouraging them to do something back in their own home country. After retirement, after everything abroad, you're still coming back home. Her dedication to addressing issues that affect Nigerians both home and abroad has earned her over 350 national and international recognitions. Some of these awards include Bridge Builders Award in Washington, UNICEF Child Friendly Award, Certificate of Recognition from California Legislative Assembly, Award for Excellence in the Pursuit of Social Justice for All and a host of others. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa is married to Shegun Erewa and blessed with children and grandchildren. Clairview Television celebrates Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa for being a voice for the voiceless and a symbol of hope and a source of inspiration to millions of women and the girl child in Nigeria and beyond. <laughs>